If you have a problem with your roof, it can cost you hundreds of dollars to fix a small leak or thousands to reshingle your entire house. It's important to choose a roofing company carefully, as Toronto police are warning to watch out for door-to-door -door roofing scams. Here's Pat Foran and Consumer Alert. Hey, Pat. Nathan and Michelle, we've done several stories on roofing scams this year. Usually someone comes to your door and says your roof has a problem. Then they claim it's in horrible shape. A woman in Scarborough was just scammed out of $80,000. No, we didn't have any issues. We didn't have any leaks. Judy Poirier of Scarborough says it was last month when someone came to her door and said he noticed she had a problem with her chimney. Once he got on a ladder, he said her roof was in bad shape. As he's up there, he said the roof felt a little spongy. And so he ripped up a few shingles and he says, oh yeah, he says, you've got some um, damage here. The man said he knew a roofer who could do repairs right away. When that person came, he said the roof was in horrible condition. And then said, oh, this is an extensive job. There's way more damage here than we thought. The roofing company said the repairs would be $10,000 and said it would be another $40,000, then another $30,000 for a total of $80,000. He said there's mold and damage and your ceiling's going to fall in on you and it's urgent. It's got to be done immediately. After paying the $80,000, Poirier grew suspicious and called another roofer who came and said her roof was fine. She had to pay another company $5,000 to repair the damage that was done. CTV News did a story with a senior in August who paid $55,000 to a roofing company that claimed his roof was going to fall in even though it had been done just two years before. He said, your roof is rotting and that's what scared me. Toronto police say to avoid roofing scams, beware door-to-door -door sales, don't be pressured to make quick decisions, research a company carefully, don't provide a large down payment or pay in advance. When Poirier confronted the company, they never came back, even leaving some of their tools behind. They no longer answer their phone, the police are involved, and she is working with her bank to try and get back her money. She wanted to share her story to warn others if someone comes to your door. Stop. Don't don't move forward with it. Don't let them rope you in with their fear tactics. And Poirier has been able to get back some of the money she was scammed out of by working with her bank. The best way to avoid these problems is to never pay in advance. Always hold back payment until the job is done to your satisfaction. On your side, I'm Pat Foran. If you have a consumer story idea, email us at alert at ctv.ca.